Welcome back. I'm David Chitowski, and today we're going to be taking this drawing of a leatherback sea turtle eating a lion's mane's jellyfish, and we're going to be painting it on this canvas. I am using acrylic paint with a very thin brush to do my drawing with. This is ultramarine, and that's titanium white, and I'm just getting a nice, uh, nice thin, um, I mix this with water so I get a nice flow. And I'm going to start right here. And that is going to be the start of the turtle's beak. Now, leatherback sea turtles are turtles of the, or giant, giant sea turtles live in the open ocean and they feed mainly on jellyfish. A problem that we're facing is that the leatherback sea turtle mistakes plastic bags like this for jellyfish and when they eat it they get they it, it actually kills them so the next time you go to the grocery store bring a bag like this and when they ask you if you want plastic bags for your groceries just put uh, your groceries in your own bag and this one's cotton and you can save a turtle a sea turtle a leatherback sea turtle which is an, an endangered animal and has been around on the earth for a very, very long time. Now, let's get back to the painting. Okay, so here we have the beginning of its head right here. And I see its eye right there. I see its eye right there. And tur turtles have almond eyes. And I kind of just draw that in. And then I'm going to go with the... Uh, the nostril there. Sea turtles are reptiles. Turtles are reptiles and they have to come ashore to lay their eggs. Only the females come ashore. Once the, me once the, the little guys, the little males uh, hatch and go into the open ocean, the leatherback sea turtle male never returns to shore. So there we have um, his just the the contour line and really a, a, a sketch of uh, the head, and I'm going to be now I'm working the neck a little bit, and now I'm going to be drawing a, a flipper. Now the sea turtles have the leatherback sea turtle has amazingly big flippers, and they use them to dive deep, deep, deep. After the, after the jellyfish, after the lion's maze jellyfish. And we're going to go just like this. And that's going to come in. And that's going to go like that. That's all. Alright. Now, I'm using this light, um, this light line. And, and it's a light aquamarine mixed with blue. And it's, that's this background. I, put the, I painted this... Um, background in this morning and I'm doing that I also have a, a wet rag handy so if I make a mistake I'll just go and 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 uh, correct it like you would an eraser so now let's put in the other the other flipper and the other flipper is going to be coming up like this and these marine turtles can this uh, leatherback sea turtle can go over 20 miles with its strong flippers in the in the propelling itself through the open ocean. And I so just give you an example. I think that flipper needs just to be a little bit longer. So I'm just going to extend it just a little bit. That's all. And that's all. And you don't 
you know, one thing is you can use uh, you can use this to mark it. You don't necessarily with painting. You don't. It's not like drawing. You don't. You can use this um, to mark it. And when we go back to block in the painting, you'll see those are what is known as reference material, uh, reference lines. So now we're going to start its back and. Like the name, the leatherback sea turtle, the leatherback, it's, it's doesn't really have a shell. It has this amazingly leather back with these gigant, with, and it's gigantic uh, ridges. And we're going to draw it like that. That's going to be uh, its left side. Now, these, these turtles are shaped like teardrops and you got to imagine that the reason why they are that they are shaped that way is because um, they dive they dive in the open ocean and they 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 want to uh, be able to cruise through the water so there we are getting our shell now we're not uh, we're just we're just kind of working our way into it Best, best to go light, my, in my experience, it's best to go light uh, than heavy with the paint. Uh, you can always, it's easier to correct your mistakes. I'm going to put his little tail right there. And so now he needs his back flippers. I may, uh, may make that, may make that shell a little bit, a little bit larger. Keep keep correcting it keep honing it as we as we go about doing this and they have these these ridges and I'm gonna that's gonna be one ridge this is gonna be another one and they're all gonna kind of go back into and converge back there and the reason you do that is to give the perspective that the this is a foreshortened view that the turtle is coming forward towards us. That's all. Just keep doing, keep working it. And we have to change his tail a little bit. Now, they have a little bit of, um, they have flippers, back flippers, which we're going to put in right now. I'm going to put those, when I do that, and I bring that across like that. have his tail like this there and then I'm going to put in a flipper and you see I kind of you just use that as a as a marker I didn't necessarily draw that one in. And I'm going to come down with this. And I'm going to put that flipper right over here like this. So this turtle this turtle is putting the brakes on, but he's also he's moving forward, but he's also kind of putting the brakes on so that he can get a good bite on the jellyfish. Now, I am going to draw the scales on the flipper, and I'll show you how to do that. What I'm going to do is I'm going to start up here. I'm going to get a little more water, and I'm going to start on the shoulder. This is the shoulder of the turtle. And I'm just gonna. This goes back into its shoulder, goes back into its shell, and then I'm going to. There. There. There you have it. It's its flipper. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side. I'm gonna start with the shoulder, and I'm gonna kind of make kind of rectangles. Then I'm going to follow that again, and then I'm going to break that, 
kind of break that down with some lines like this. So you do, I did lines going this way and then lines going that way. And those lines, those lines will help you as you as you move along. Those lines will really, really help you. So now I'm gonna go. Now I'm just gonna fill in. I'm gonna. I like to. I like to give give the give some animation, some life to the animal. So to do that, I'm going to. Kind of go in with the, go in with the eye uh, immediately, and I'm just going to start with that eye. Now it doesn't have to be you know absolutely 100% correct as you're going you know as you're starting because you're gonna go back and change it here and there, but. I like to start. I like to start with that. I like to start because it kind of helps me, uh, gives the cat gives a gives some character to the painting and kind of and and that helps me as I go about, uh, you know, I go, I go um, continue on with the whole piece. If you, if I can right in the beginning get the like the the feel for the for the the ex, or the expression of the animal, that kind that helps me. And I'm gonna now, as you can imagine, that uh, turtles in the open ocean are hard pressed to find food. Um, as they hunt their jellyfish, these sea turtles, so they can't they can't really make tell the difference. And now I just made some gray, and I'm going to fill in its. It's uh, it's inner mouth here, like that. And what I'll do is uh, I added some gray there, and then what I'll do is I'll make this a little darker here, like that, to give depth, like that. All right. Now. We're going to go with a little, a little angled brush. I'm going to add some some white, some ultramarine, and a little bit of uh, a little bit of black, and that's going to be. And I'm going to work from there, and I'm going to. I'm going, to, I'm going to paint this turtle. So I just added a little bit of uh, a little bit of white, a little bit of ultramarine, and I'm going to paint. Now I want to get this his beak. Now they're 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 very very strong. Um, their skin and their beak and they, they it's hard for the jellyfish uh, to sting them. They also eat feed on squ squid, and the thing about the uh, that's really important is that. Well, there is a natural balance to nature, and these animals, these animals keep the jellyfish in in check. And the jellyfish, and see how I'm not too concerned. What I want to do is I want to I want to fill this in. Um, this is called blocking it in, and I'm not too I'm not that I'm not very very that very concerned about the detail about um, because. It's a work. This is a work in progress. So as you're going to, as you're going about it, you know you're making corrections, and the, that's the beauty with acrylic is that you can. It's easy. Acrylic dries so fast that it's easy to make corrections. And I wasn't. Uh, I'm kind of going to keep that uh, up like that. And I'm going to keep. 
keep moving. And that's another thing about the, the, um, is that it's important to keep moving. It's important to also have water because acrylic dries so fast it'll dry up on your on your brush and that's not particularly maybe not particularly what you want. We have, him kind of, we have him blocked in, his head blocked in, and we're going to do that, continue to do that for um, the rest of the, the rest of the turtle. And I will come back, let's get, block it in, you see this is like, we're going to do that to his uh, his flippers. And I'm filling this in. Again, I just added a little bit of black, a little bit of uh, white, and a little bit of ultramarine. And I'm going to add a little more ultramarine to that. And you see I kind of left, I left where my lines were. So a little bit of and that little more blue here. All right. Give it more of a marine marine look here. There you go. And just layer that on. Detail, bring this in, add a little more detail to the to the turtle's face. And that layering provide makes um starting to make depth. It'll start to make depth. Keep layering it on. Now then you want to kind of smooth it off. See, I got the color on there, but then you want to you want to kind of just smooth it a little bit. All right, we're getting there. Now let's get go get get painting on this shell. And I'm going to start because it has ridges. my dark first. My dark areas first.
continue to move the brush just move the brush along and then I'm going to fill in I added ultramarine blue again white and black that's these turtles are they're very dark very dark in the water so our job as artists is that we have to uh, you know we have to make that visible you know every so filling in this shell that's going to be the highlight top of the ridge right there And that would be a, that's going to be the top of the other ridge. They have like ridges on their back. There you go. Now we're going to fill that in. Ooh. Add a little dark to that. This is the area in between the ridges, so that's going to be the darkest. Now I want to do a little bit of blending in that. I don't want it so so dark so that it's obvious. Kind of want to go blend that a little bit. I'll blend that even more so. So I just lightened it up. Okay. Yeah, that's a good beginning to our shell, but it's not really a shell, it's just, obviously it's the leather back, and I want to, I want to paint in its neck, connect the two. and paint in like that there you go this turtle has been around so I'm just gonna put in a little you know he's been out there in the open ocean and he's had some He's seen some stuff. He's probably had to fight a few sharks as he was growing up. That's uh, the main predator, uh, one predator that they have. Um, we human beings still prey on these turtles. Uh, we collect their eggs, and that is that is that's a major no-no. I'm going to go back here now. I'm going to fill in this, these back flippers. Like that. There's one. There's two. And then I'm going to put this tail in. Like that. Now, let's get this jellyfish in. 
let me just smooth this off so it so it all goes together I'm going to put it's a, what is called a center line like that kind of put a highlight on the on his uh, on his bill like that and we're going to put in a lion's mane jellyfish right here I'm going to add white some orange and a little bit of magenta and I'm going to start right here like that and it's a little bit bright so I'm going to add a little bit of purple to it like that kind of knock it down so it's not so bright we just want to paint the, the bell of the jelly like that now we're going to paint it and then we're going to paint its tentacles like this he's now these jellyfish are the largest jellyfish in the world and they get over a hundred feet long the lines made and it's the leatherbacks job to keep them in check so what happens is if we if the leatherback uh, numbers fall, and they are because of plastic in the ocean and us uh, collecting their eggs, the jellyfish take advantage of that and take, um, actually prey on a lot of our small fish. And it gets out of balance. There's always a natural balance out there in nature. So now you can see that I've taken some time to clean up this painting and to go and spend a little more details on the leatherback's face and the jellyfish. You saw how we started, how I got the composition and how I got um, everything up to this point. But then I took some time to really focus in on crafting the turtle, and crafting his face, crafting his face looking deeply into the eye and getting an expression, seeing what, as I told you before, I really like to work with the eyes. And as I look at it and as I'm painting it, I, I, I look for the expression of the animal. And then I believe I, I captured it very nicely in this. And you can see how I, I, I worked on that, um, the side of its face and crafting its, its beak and making it more realistic uh, to my, and more, um, more believable to my eye. So this is the, the finished painting and I want to thank you very much for taking the time to watch Painting Time with David Chitowski. Thank you so much. Take care.